Hey, welcome back everybody. Nice. Uh, back at it yet again and got some fun stuff going on today but first uh, as you can see in the background here we got a little bit of cleanup to do but uh, as far as today goes uh, crew chief Al was able to come out here earlier in the week and replace the last two hydraulic filters that we needed to install so the hydraulic system is back together and we'll be rolling out the hydraulic mule a little later today to uh, uh, service the service the hydraulics I believe we're starting with the utility system um, also be rolling over the dash 60 putting power to the jet and doing a few things with that so you guys are in for a treat today and to go with that this will be the last episode of the year <laughs> it's been an awful lot of fun uh, being able to do this and uh definitely uh working with the phantom here and also to go with that being able to share it with you guys so it's been a, it's been a lot of fun i'm uh, i'm happy that uh those of you that have subscribed and are interested in what we got going on with the last operational phantom in the u.s so thank you again for that if you guys have noticed but uh there's normally a dash 60 parked right here and it's not here all right so right now i'm trying to find a dash 60 because uh i want to put power on the jet so we can uh, both run it and it's and it's controls while we're uh putting hydraulic pressure on it and servicing that so normally it's right here so i don't know where it went I'm trying to find it. Hopefully this isn't a wild goose chase, but uh, you guys probably see that in the next scene where I finally find the dang thing. All right, hey, we found it. It was uh, parked in our other hangar where we keep the T-33. And uh, this noisy guy here, the NC-8, which you guys see me work on before, but uh, there's our start cart. So we're gonna roll this out and get it over to the Phantom. B25 right there. Now to get this outside, however, this is in the way, and the last I checked, the fuel pump in it died yet again. Yep. 
All right, so I'm going to have to find some chains and tow this out of the way because uh, this thing is a roadblock at this point. <laughs> A little cap, yeah, that's for service here. There we go. Now, on the unit, on the servicing cart, this one is your low pressure side, this is your high pressure side, high volume. Okay, but you gotta shut this valve off to start servicing. Okay, and then when you're done, you open it up. But you can service by pumping that. That gives you a little bit more volume. So somebody pump. <laughs> Where lever? This one? Yeah. Just rotate it. Yeah, back and forth. No. Pretty empty, it ain't moving yet. Is that the high pressure or the high volume? High volume. Dang, I wish I could stick this up there. Yeah, it's up there. Okay, it's moving now, all right. All right, so that was the reservoir for the utility hydraulic tank, and that's uh, what we're looking for to get the, uh, make sure the fluid level's up. The small side is usually the pressure, and the big side is usually the return. Okay. I'm good. Hey, little click I got there. Turn that till it clicks. Just keep on turning. Yeah. That click. There we go. And you know, get it as tight as you can by hand. Yeah. Uh, I heard the okay. click. So. All right. Go ahead and plug in the. And that little pin is your E-pin voltage, which closes the circuit that makes it accept power. power. Yeah. All right. Wash your head, because that thing will cut you. Okay. Um. All right. So now we've got our electrical cord hooked up. We've got our hydraulic meal hooked up. We should be ready to go ahead and fire everything up now. All right, just about ready to do this.
How many times did you drive one? Back when they still had the motors on them, we used to have that 60 races. <laughs> at about three miles an hour. Success. All right, so we just finished service in the utility hydraulics and it was a fantastic success. No significant leaks and we got most of the, uh, the reservoir filled back up. So that's one system down. Uh, next time we do this, we'll be doing PC1 and PC2. So stick around for that and that'll likely be in January. All right, so from all of us here on the Phantom Crew, Merry, Merry Christmas, Christmas. Happy, Happy New Year. New Year. <laughs>